On my video about how to avoid mistakes when picking a kitchen sink, Edna Trigo asks, can I install a 33 by 21 under counter sink where my existing drop-in sink is 31 by 20? Edna, I'm gonna tell you what I've told many people in the past. The answer is always yes. The question is how much and how soon. Welcome back Remodelites to another episode of Quick Tip Tuesday where I dive into your questions, comments, and concerns. I'm Dave with Remodel Media and for the last 15 years I've helped people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode. So Edna, your question is a very common one actually. I have a lot of folks that have one type of sink and want to change it up to another. So I'm gonna go over some basic vocabulary and points of interest, things to measure, things to double check before you go ahead and pull that trigger so you can go into this situation eyes wide open. The first question is what kind of countertop do you have? Do you have a stone countertop such as a quartz, or granite or marble or is yours a tile countertop this can matter in a big way you see if you have a stone countertop and a drop-in sink then chances are very good that what you've got is referred to as a rough cut in other words it's not a very perfect rectangle it's not super polished edge so if we were to pull that drop-in sink out and expose what's underneath it might not be pretty if you have a tile-in countertop it's going to be very difficult to undermount a sink to a tile-in countertop because you may very well end up chipping away some tile and it's going to be a little more difficult to find tile that matches your existing tile so the short answer is if you have a stone countertop at least that can be polished if the rough cut is the right size. Given the nature of your question, I'm going to assume that you have no intention of changing the actual countertop. If you're changing the countertop, you can do anything you want. Edna, one of the things I'd like you to check out is your base cabinet size. Chances are you have a pretty typical 36 inch base cabinet, something like this. This right here is a very typical 36 inch sink base. It's measured from here to the outside edge and that measures 36 which means you can fit a 33 inch sink inside I wouldn't go much larger than that you could probably get a 34 in there but I I probably would max that out there reason being is for an undermount sink you've got to make sure you have room for the mounting hardware so to recap the questions you need to ask are what kind of countertop do you have? If you have tile, can you get matching tile when you invariably damage some of that tile pulling the old sink out? If you have a stone countertop, is the hole that's already cut there the right size? The only way to find out is pull that sink up, measure it, and compare it to the suggested cutouts of whatever undermount sink you prefer. One more thought I'll leave you with is where is your faucet going to get mounted? Because most drop-in sinks have the faucet holes drilled through the sink. Most undermount sinks do not. Most undermount sinks rely in you putting holes in your countertop for the faucet. So these are all things that you need to keep in mind before you change your sink or before you start tearing things apart. You do have to be able to lift up on the sink so there may be uh, a point in time where you have a plumber come out disconnect the plumbing or if you feel handy enough to do it yourself by all means uh, and you get that sink lifted up but just understand these are all things that you may need to take into account before making that purchase and getting that sink thanks for watching i hope you got some good information out of that episode go ahead and click here for more videos go ahead and click here to subscribe and make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.